Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Now recently I was asked, what is my lamest or most oddball game system in my collection? Previously, if you'll remember, I did a video on my most disappointing game system, and that was the Atari 5200. But if you get a decent pair of controllers, there are actually some really good games to be found on that system. So it doesn't really qualify for this video. For that honor, it has to go to, ugh, the SSX Snowboarding Plug and Play. This thing is horrible, and we're gonna play it. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna start with the brains of the operation here. This is the module that houses the game itself. Notice the left and right and enter. You have those buttons because, well, you could do them on the actual controller itself, but as you'll see in a bit, the controller is a little funky to use and takes a bit of practice. Also, technically being a plug and play, you can use batteries, which is cool, or you can use an external power supply, which I don't have. And here is the controller or snowboard itself. And the first thing you're gonna think if you've been gaming for a while is it looks very familiar to the much hated Tony Hawk Shred skateboard that came out and completely bombed at retail. Although to be quite honest, the Tony Hawk one's way better than this one. You'll notice that it rocks forward and back as you would expect, but left and right is kind of weird because the board itself doesn't move. Instead, you have your back heel does that movement and it's very awkward. It doesn't feel natural at all. And sadly, it supports kind of the lamest video output possible, which is composite and then not even stereo. It's just mono sound. Let's jump into the game itself. And here you see the main menu and the different options you have. Now, it looks like it's got a lot of stuff going on, but really it doesn't matter. This game sucks. Every version of the game sucks, so don't worry about it. Just select it and move on. And actually, for the most part here, you're seeing that my foot works fairly well. Selecting stuff. Although, to be fair, when you first fire this thing up, it doesn't feel natural. Uh, it, it takes some practice. Let's put it that way. All right, I'm fired up. Let's play some SSX. I love this series. Woohoo! And we're off. And, uh... We're going straight. What is this? This is not the SSX that I know and love. What the what the heck is this? What are these fans? What what's going on here? So, if uh, if it looks like I'm missing a bunch of these, well, it's because of the game. So, if you look in the upper left there and you see my feet, you'll notice that my left foot is basically keeping the front down so that I keep moving forward. But like a traditional snowboarding slash skateboarding game, you would think that you would tilt your whole body to, to move left or right. But that's not the case here. Instead, it's really your, your heel and toe on that little pad. And it just doesn't feel right. Now, to be fair, I'm a big guy and maybe this is designed for small kids. Maybe they would have a little bit more lower center of gravity or something. I don't know, but it just... It, it's not good. Plus, I mean, look at this. You're just going straight. And I'm gonna show you a couple other levels here as well, but this is pretty much the game. Okay, so it's snowboarding, it's SSX. It's all about trickies and doing awesome tricks on a half pipe. Let's go ahead and try it here. Oh man, look at this. It's terrible. It's just... It's so disappointing being a fan of the SSX series. I mean, even the Game Boy Advance versions, which no, you know, no slight on the Game Boy Advance, but you know, that's an underpowered system. And even those versions are better. You know what? Even, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but even the N-Gage version of SSX is way better than this, way better because there's just more going on. It feels more like a real SSX game. I know I'm getting all fired up about this, but man, I love this series and this was such a disappointment. You know, especially because, you know, EA has the money. They could have done it right. Instead, they did this lame, cheap 
simple SSX plug and play that frankly really just tarnishes the series and the name. You know, I got to thinking, actually probably the best way to play this game is just to sit down on the floor and use it like a big controller. <laughs> And I was right! Look at this! I mean, actually just using my hand to push up and down, it, it actually makes it way more playable. Now, it's still not really fun. It's still not a real SSX game. I mean, you're basically just going down the hill, maybe slight bumps, but again, it's just a watered-down, lame version of it. Also, the graphics aren't great. It's funny because the, uh, the advertisements for this were claiming realistic snowboarding graphics. And nah, not really. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's definitely a stretch. Oh boy, shoot me in the head. All right, guys, that's a quick look at an oddball and certainly lame game system that I have in my collection. Although some of you are wondering why I didn't pick the Virtual Boy, but I actually like the Virtual Boy, so I didn't want to go there. But love to know what you have in your game collection that you consider to be oddball or kind of lame. Please post a comment down below as always, I want to thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care. If you watch this video and you're thinking that that SSX board looks very familiar, well, you've probably have been subscribed to my channel for many, many years because back in 2012, I did an old I Hate You episode where I made Drunken Master Paul play that and uh, we did it as a competition. So it's been a while since I busted that out, and uh, yeah, it's just as bad as I remember. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching.